Herbivorous Dinosaurs In this video, let's first learn about herbivorous dinosaurs. Triceratops The Triceratops is a famous dinosaur that didn't appear until late in the age of the dinosaurs. With three horns and a shield-like head, it was the biggest land animal to have ever lived. Researchers believe that these herbivorous dinosaurs lived in groups. They didn't just use their horns to keep themselves safe from carnivorous dinosaurs, but also to fight among themselves the same way that cows and deer fighting using their horns. This is what the Triceratops would have looked like if it were still around today. Brontosaurus The Brontosaurus is a well-known herbivorous dinosaur with a big body, a long, thin neck, and a relatively small head. Also known as Apatosaurus, they can be seen quite often in movies, and when fully grown, could weigh up to 30 tons and measure up to 23 meters. Researchers believe that they used their long, whip-like tail to protect themselves from carnivorous dinosaurs. While it was no easy feat for them to grow this big, there were a lot of plants back then for them to eat. This is what the Brontosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Ankylosaurus The Ankylosaurus managed to stay safe from carnivorous dinosaurs with the armor on its back and its thick cranial bone, which made it even more difficult for it to fall prey to attacks by carnivorous dinosaurs. Some believe that, once fully grown, the Ankylosaurus could remain perfectly intact even after attacks by bigger carnivorous dinosaurs. The Ankylosaurus could attack its enemy using its club-like tail. They definitely weren't the fastest runners due to their weight, but they managed to stay strong for millions of years with their impeccable defense. Like birds, they were toothless, so when they ate plants, they had to bite them into smaller pieces and swallow them. This is what the Ankylosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Stegosaurus You know you're looking at Stegosaurus when you see a dinosaur with sport like bones standing on its back. With a relatively smaller head and brain, the Stegosaurus isn't considered to have been the most intelligent of dinosaurs. When attacked, they use the 4 1 meter long horns on their tails to drive away their enemies. While the purpose of their backbones remains unknown, researchers haven't found blood flowing through these bones believe that they were probably used to maintain the dinosaur's body temperatures, the same way the African elephant's ears are used to maintain its body temperature. This is what the Stegosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Brachiosaurus Since the discovery of the very first dinosaur fossil, the Brachiosaurus has been the biggest dinosaur known to humans. With the recent discovery of the fossil of an even bigger dinosaur, the Brachiosaurus is now no longer the biggest dinosaur believed to have ever existed. Its height, however, remains mind-boggling. When it raised its head, it could stand about as tall as a six-story apartment. Researchers believe that the Brachiosaurus used its height to its advantage and survived on leaves and flatbirds growing on taller trees. Researchers used to believe that these dinosaurs lived in the water because of their weight and the fact that their nose sat on their heads. Now, based on further research, we know that they could have only lived on land because, living in water, they wouldn't have been able to breathe due to water pressure. This is what the Brachiosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Parasaurolophus The Parasaurolophus was one of a kind. The protrusion sitting on its head is actually its nose bone, which gave it a very acute sense of smell. Researchers believe that they also use their long nose to share information and call for help when they were certain. 
they lived in groups, so there is a good chance that they also used their nose when talking. This is what the Parasaurolophus would have looked like if it were still around today. Argentinosaurus The Argentinosaurus was the biggest land animal to have ever walked Earth. The name of the dinosaur, which literally means Argentina's lizard, comes from the fact that the dinosaur was discovered in Argentina. Weighing 100 tons, the Argentinosaurus could cause the ground to rumble when it walked. Astonishing, no? Researchers believe they lived in groups. To this day, a complete set of Argentinosaurus fossils has yet to be discovered. Partial fossils of the Argentinosaurus, however, have been uncovered. Through comparison of these fossils with those of a species of dinosaur most closely related to the Argentinosaurus, researchers have determined the Argentinosaurus height to be 45 meters and its weight to be 100 tons. This is what the Argentinosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Those are all the herbivorous dinosaurs we will be looking at today. So, how exactly did dinosaurs go extinct? While we do know that they went extinct about 65 million years ago, controversial ideas about the cause of their extinction exist even to this day. The most well-known cause of extinction is the one having to do with an asteroid hitting Earth. The asteroid hit Earth at a speed of 64,000 km per hour, landing in what is today known as Mexico. Specifically, the asteroid landed in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Believed to carry as much energy as 1 billion atomic bombs, the asteroid left behind a crater with a diameter of 170 km in the wake of its landing. When this asteroid hit Earth, it caused the dinosaurs to go extinct on a massive scale. Certain creatures, however, did survive the extinction. Mammals, our ancestors, were amongst the creatures that survived. Weak and small, the mammals had been living in hiding from the dinosaurs up until that point. Scared of the dinosaurs, our ancestors would only come out at night when the dinosaurs weren't around. While the dinosaurs grew increasingly bigger, our ancestors went the other way and grew smaller. The mammals were able to hide in smaller places and survive with relatively little food. They managed to survive all difficulties. And with the dinosaurs gone, our ancestors started to rule the world. We will take a closer look at that in our next episode. <laughs>